Jerry Pfizer, please do not despise small beginnings. When you start off with your vision or your dream or your idea, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be so embryotic, you won't be able to help but compare it to other people. That's the danger of small beginnings. What you're doing is good, but you can't help but follow that natural inclination that causes you to look at what you're doing and then turn your head to the side and look at what somebody else is, is doing. And so God is trying to speak to our mind, our psyche, our psyche. And he's saying that it's natural. You are going to see what other people are doing. And you will compare yourself. I, I'm not going to tell you you won't. You will. But it's up to you to develop enough unction in you to listen to yourself more than the voices that you hear around you and to look at yourself and God through you more than the people and what they're doing around you. You will look and see. I'm not going to tell you you're not going to do it. There may be times you're going to just look forward and act like you're ignoring everybody. But all of your energy know that while you are trying to ignore what's going on around you, you are paying attention at what's going on around you. So don't despise. Hmm, it's easily said than done. You have to find something in you, some sort of gall in you, to not to let go of what you're doing. This is your dream. This is your dream, and you can't tell your dream to hurry up. You can't tell a small beginning to hurry up. You can't. It's going to grow as much as you grow. And it's, and it's going to grow as it teaches you what to be and do. And God's going to make sure that your small beginning teaches your ending. You can't tell it to go fast. That's why you have to be careful uh, to not compare it and talk about it. Don't talk about your small beginning. Celebrate it. Always look at what you're going to be and what you're going to end up being and celebrate it. And I'm going to tell you another thing before I go. In your small beginning, don't eat all the seed that your small beginning brings. I'm going to tell you, that's where we folks, that's where we folks go wrong. You start something new and as soon as you get $25, you eat up that $25. Don't eat up what your beginnings are bringing you because your seed is growing and that seed isn't strong enough to maintain you yet. That small beginning that you have is a seed. It's not strong enough to hold you on its limbs yet. It's a small tree, but it's not strong enough to pick you up and your whole family yet. So you have to be disciplined at what you do with small beginnings. What happens, and I believe the reason we give up on small beginnings is we want our small beginnings to yield the same increase that we're comparing ourselves to. You're looking at what everybody else is buying and purchasing and things like that, and you want your small suckling to give you that big tree, and it's not able to do that. People understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they get, I'm getting some hearts on it. Okay, I just wanna want make sure I'm getting some hearts. I just wanna make sure that the people get me some hearts and stuff like that. But that's the thing. You want your small beginning to feed you like a tree and you drain the sap out of it. You have to know that your small beginning is needing you to nurture it. Don't despise your baby vision. Feed it. You have to feed it before it can feed you. You feel me? All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. But I just wanted to say that to you, and I wanted you to have something, okay? Don't despise it. It's important. Stop straining it. Stop making your baby walk before it can. You know, that's why we lose heart. We want to be millionaires and billionaires with the seed. And we're draining it to cough up a million dollars and it can't do it. You understand? Your vision is going to cry before it, before it walks. It's going to cry and it's going to beg and it's going to fool you. Your vision is going to act like it's hungry but it just wants attention. Your, your, your vision is going to want you to feed it. You understand, your vision is going to crawl before it runs, before it walks. It's going to do that. Your vision is a child. Don't despise it. You understand? And don't let everybody pick it up. Every, you don't let everybody hold your child. See, that's why we get ruined with ideas. We're trying to get a sports car. And you just got the idea last night. You understand? It won't work that way. Don't despise it. Keep working your small beginning. 
because your small beginning is the richness of the world. Peace, guys.